Hello everyone. My name is Pim Lapad Liki Jaranpon. I'm a postdoc from Division for Epidemiology and Microbiogenomics at DTU Food. I'm going to be presenting you about multipurpose detection of genetic markers, MyDB Finder 2, description and application. So right now the whole genome sequencing is becoming a more practical, rapid and less expensive form of typing. And the tools intended for quick analysis of whole genome sequencing data are required to accommodate that the researchers may have interest in particular sets of genes for which no database are available. So we developed a special version of Breast Finder called My Database Finder or My DB Finder. So the MyDB Finder is a web-friendly interface and freely accessible that allow the user can actually generate their own database containing genes of their own interest that they wish to search for. And the, the two MyDB Finder actually contain your own database or user database. And the user actually also uploaded their unknown genomes in either raw reads or assembled genomes to the database. And the database will take the unknown genomes and, and search against to the user database using BLAST to ident identify the best matching gene from the user database. So the tricky part of MyDB is to make your own database. So how you can make your own database? The database for the red for the MyDB Finder should be made in text editor. So we recommend you to use Notepad or Tech Edit. Both programs you can actually uh, download it. It's freely available. So and the, the database must contain the DNA sequences in FASTA format. So what is the FASTA format? The FASTA format is standard format for storing the, the DNA sequence data. So it actually starts by the header. And the header begins with the greater than sign. It has to begin with the greater than sign and any ID. The next line is the sequencing data, ATCG. And if you have multiple sequences, then you can continue with the other sequence here. Start by greater than, ID, and sequence data. And MyDB Finder only show the first word of the header as output gene. For example, if it's matched, if your unknown sequence matched to the sequence number two, it's only show sequence number two. It's break when it, it finds the, the space. So to our we recommend you to use different gene or sequence names without any space in it. For example, if you have space between the, the name of the sequence, you put uh, underscore instead of the space. Then the program will show all the information of the header in the output page. And yes, here, this is the link, the web link to the MyDB Finder. And it's the web interface that when you click it in and you can see this one. So first of all, you start by browsing your own unknown sequence here. You, you upload your unknown sequence to the database. And the next option is make your own database. So you upload your database that you use text editor to make it before. So you browse your own database. In this case, it's a violence web database. So when you browse your database and you have to choose some of the cast off that we provided here. So the first one is the percent identity. The percent I identity is the a minimum, percent, minimum percentage of nucleotides that are identical between the sequence from your unknown sample and the genes in your database. Another option for, for as a cutoff is the minimum length. The minimum length is the percentage of the total gene length in the database that match 
to the sequence in your unknown genome. So the last option that you can choose is the type of your reads that you just browse here. If, the, if your reads or the data that you browse here is the assembled genomes, then you click assembled genome. And remember, the assembled genome has to be in FASA format, like this. And if your sequence that you browse here, your unknown genome, is a raw read, then it has to be in FASTQ format. The FASTQ format is similar to FASTA. Is FASTQ is the FASTA plus quality score. That's, qu that's why it's called FASTQ. So the two line is the sequencing data, and the two last line is the quality score for sequencing. And yes, and you have to choose if your data are raw reads, you have to choose is it single end reads or pair end reads, and you have to choose technology or the sequencing platform that you actually use. Okay, once you browse your unknown genome, you browse your database that you make by your own, you choose all the options here and you choose the correct type of your unknown sample, then you're ready to submit your job by click at submit. Now it leads to you to another web page. It's telling you if your job is being, being processed. And we have another option that you can fill it in your email and click notify me via email. So once your job is done, the program will send you the email with the output link in the email. So you can actually start doing another, another submission by closing this down op or opening another window and start your new submission. You don't need to wait until it is done and start the another one. Uh, here is an, an output from the program that you might get from my, my DB finder. So it tells you the, the genes in the database that match to your unknown sample, percent identity, and the, S, the query and SHP length, so what, what they are. So the query length is the length of the best matching gene in the database. So it's actually the length of the genes that in the, in the database that match to your unknown sample. The HSP is the length of the alignment between the best matching gene in the database and the sequence in your unknown sample. So HSP is the alignment between the genes in the database and the sequence from your unknown sample. So if the query length and the HHP, they are equal like this. It means the alignment between the gene from the unknown sample and the gene in the database, the alignment, they actually cover an entire length of the gene in the database. That indicates the perfect match, actually. So, and it also tells you the position. The position of the, gene, uh, of the sequence in your unknown sample that match to the gene in the database. And from the output, you can actually see which percent identity and the minimum length that you actually choose before submitting it, and the input file or the, or the unknown sample that you actually submitted. And if you want to see the detail of your alignment between your unknown and the gene in the database, you can click extended output here. And what you can see, you can see the detail of all the alignment. And if you want to get the output like this in the text format as a text file, you can click result as text. You can get the same result, but in the text file. And if you want to get the, the sequence of the gene in the database that best matching to the, to the sequence in your unknown sample. You can actually click to one of the bottle here, and you can get the sequence data of the gene in the database that match to your unknown sample. And if you have any problems or any technical difficulties to using our tool, you can actually click at technical problems and email us your problem. 
and thank you very much for watching.